What's up, everybody? Thank you very much for joining me again. Today is real simple, real quick, just what to bring to the prenatal midwifery appointment or OBGYN appointment. So today I brought out some of my friends, okay? Everything is a tool to me. <laughs> and what helped me get through all my pregnancies and what I suggest in my childbirth education classes, as well as um, my patients as doula, I always suggest they go out and they buy some little notebook. Um, these here are bendable and they're wonderful because you can put them in your pocket, you can put them in your purse, you can put them um, just about anywhere, glove compartment, in the car on the side. Um, also these hard ones here <clears throat> are good for like, um, my pen just dropped, good for those who, um, you know, by the end of the year, it's all crumbled up on the side. You might have the cover, the front cover off, the back cover off. Just basically go off of how you were in high school. You know what I mean? Whatever your notebooks look like at the end of high school, that will let you know. If it look real rough, you might be the person that need one of them hard covers because it's going to last you up for like at least a year. Um, this one is very cute only because it has the elastic and you can put those little appointment cards in here. As you know, when you go to any kind of prenatal appointment, they give you tons of paperwork, tons of appointments. So this uh, elastic will kind of help it stay together until you get in the car, until you get home, and actually transfer over to your, your files. And like I said, they come in cute sizes, cute colors. Um, and then the composition book, you know, that's an old fashioned type of book, but they got cute little styles now and they're bendable now where you can get the hard cover ones now. So it just depends on um, where you go and how much you want to spend. But for those who have a lot of questions, a lot of things to write, um, that would be a good um, notebook to have. Or if you just write big and you need more space, that's also good for you. But the reason why I want you to kind of stay low and small, you know, not something so heavy, so bulky, because this is something you're going to carry with you every single day. So when you are at work, when you are, you could be, you know, in a grocery store and somebody gave you some advice in the grocery store, you're talking about that pregnancy talk, why are you waiting in line, you know, and you might get in the car and be like, oh shoot, my pen actually fell, but oh shoot, let me write this down. So if you had left it at home, you would not really remember, you know, to, um, to ask or to, to write it down or something like that. But it's in your car, it's in your purse, you get in the car, you write down the question. So when you go back to the OBGYN or the midwife for your prenatal appointment, you already have it um, written down here. If you try to remember, it, I don't mean to sound like, you know, negative, but you're probably gonna forget. Some called pregnancy brain. We all get it when we're pregnant because our hormones are like extremely at the max that it possibly can be all of them. <laughs> so the body has two people to, to keep alive and to make sure that nutrients circulate in air and gotta get rid of any type of harmful um, chemicals in the body and gases and all this other kind of stuff. You gotta make the heart beat and all these things that the body has to do. And it's like, okay, something gotta give. I can't just go 100 for everything. So what happens is kinda like your brain goes a little bit the memory you know you might find your keys in the freezer and in two seconds like literally two seconds you're like where is my keys and then you go all over the house and then it took like an hour just to realize they're in the freezer or somebody probably found them for you like you left them in the freezer another thing is <clears throat> for those who's carrying this around is write your partner's information in there as well for not information but like if your partner has a concern or has questions to ask but they have to go to work or they're going to school or whatever the case might be they just don't want to come <laughs> but whatever it is write down their questions and concerns that way you can represent them at the OBGYN or um, your prenatal visit with the midwives so I have a phone in front of me. I was going to use the phone as the prop, but your phone is a perfect um, example, a perfect thing to take with you. Your phone has a calculator, not a calculator, a calendar on there, which is wonderful. As soon as you get the little appointment cards, 
Don't just stick it in your purse or your pocket or your bra or, you know, even one of these. Don't stick it really in there. I would really like you to just take it and put it inside your phone already date set. You know, a warning sign two hours ahead or hour ahead, 30 minutes, whatever you do, whatever you need to, to alarm you as many times. Some people need 20 alarms. Some people is good with one. Some people don't need no alarms. They just got it like that. But when you're pregnant, even if you got it like that, like a real stickler for getting things done right and being on time and this, that, and the other, don't get so frustrated when you find some things just slip away and you're like, oh, I didn't grab that and, you know, make that, oh. It happens, and that's because your body is doing a lot. It's doing a whole lot, so your brain kind of, you know, gets a little foggy. But this will help you, and your phone will help you to remember all those appointments. Because when you go to your first prenatal, you, you come out with mad appointments. Like, I need you back at this one, then go down the street to this one, then you got to go to the lab across town, this one, and then which way you want your pharmacy to go. And then you're just like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> so at least you have it in one place. You know everything is there. Or your appointments is there. You can even take pictures of your appointments. That way, if you lose the paper, it's always in your phone. But once again, you want to make sure that you know it gets into your calendar. So before you leave, even the room, write all that stuff down, or write you know things down and put it in your phone. Some people have to do both. They have to physically do it, and you know type it in their phone. Maybe and take a picture and do a a reminder or something like that. And they had hopefully they they remember. So basically, that is what I want to tell you, and the reason why this is really important because you want to get your answers, um, your questions answered by a professional, even though you're you're online and you're getting all this information from your coworkers and your family and your friends and your neighbors. You still want to have a community, a process of open communication with your OBGYN and midwife. If you don't feel comfortable talking and asking questions to your OBGYN or a midwife for your prenatal appointments, then it's time for you to choose another one. Okay, it's time for you to choose another one because you have to get these things um, answered. And as we know, a lot of people say Google is God and Google is a person, but you can't just go through pregnancy just Googling everything. <laughs> okay, at some point, you're going to have to, you know, speak with somebody and just, you know, bounce off that information back and forth. Um, whether it be with your doula, um, even though doula is not a medical provider, but at least she would know some information about it because she's in that field. But definitely with your midwife and your OBGYN. Also with OBGYNs, the appointments are only like 10 to 15 minutes long, especially if it's in a hospital setting. Midwives tend to go a little bit longer, 15, 20 minutes in a hospital setting. However, if you're in a uh, birthing center, then it might be 30 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour if you're doing a home birth. So it just depends on where you're going and how much time. But as we know, you know, time is money in the society that we live in and there's only so, so much time they have per patient just to get their per capita as they say, <laughs> up so that they can keep revenue into the medical field. Blah, 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 blah. You get what I'm saying. So your time is important too, just like their time. So make sure you write it down. That way you're you're being respectful for from them. Like you're not wasting your time trying to sit there and remember for five minutes. And you're also helping keep your stress down. Because if you follow me, you know it's all about keeping that stress down. I'm all about that when you're pregnant. Keep the stress down. And of course for postpartum. And something like remembering or when you used to have it all together, now you don't because now you're pregnant. Now you all fuzzy minded and and all this and you're waddling duck and you're just like oh my god somebody help me i'm falling apart well this lovely book what you can get for a dollar two dollars three dollars i don't see no more four dollars um that you could buy and just put all your questions down in here all your appointments your lovely phone has a calendar it also has a notepad on it you can write all your questions on there if you're not a pen and paper person you have a photo um, option, but you can take pictures of anything that you want into the doctor's room. If it's a, a let's say if it's a um, sign outside, like a poster um, of a childbirth class or something like that, and you know you want to go, you know, take a picture. You got your phone, take a picture. So don't leave your phone in the car. Don't leave it with the kids in the lobby. Charge their, their tablet before they get there because you're going to need your phone with you just in case you have to, you know, put down your next appointment, of course, and also to retrieve all your questions that you might have, um, that you have, and also your partner might have, or your mom or whoever has the question that they want to ask and you think it's significant for um, the doctor or the midwife to have that conversation with you. So, 
as I always say, please comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, if there is any um, questions that you have, I'll try to answer them in the comment below or you can email me. You can also reach me on social media and all that information is below, so I'm not going to go through it. I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day or night, depending on where you are, what time it is. Bye-bye. And wait, I forgot something. Manifest birth, manifest life. Have a good one. Bye-bye.